Hello, everyone. So we got us today a beautiful, beautiful box from Walrus Audio. Absolutely love this company. Their artwork on their pedals is absolutely phenomenal. They're here in Oklahoma, which is where I'm from. I love buying local. I love supporting local. And this thing is going to be incredible, I imagine. It's brand new. Uh, it came out like, I don't know, a month ago. I missed the boat on that. I wish I would have bought this a month ago, but hey, I didn't. So we're definitely going to check this out and see what the fuss is all about on this. Uh, let's try to open this up without knocking my camera over here if we if we can here. Uh, oof. Okay, so you open this up and it's this beautiful looking artwork here. That's their, uh, well, what's it called? The compressor one, right? Oh, no, you can see like, so they got the compressor here. And then they have the slow is right here, or the slaw. It's actually pronounced slaw. Uh, they don't pronounce it that way. They say it's pronounced slow, but I asked Mr. Ola England himself, and he says that it is pronounced slaw, or something like this. Slaw. It's, it's, you kind of have to get your vocal cords right, and I can't quite do it. So, yeah. Uh, Walrus, you're wrong. No. <laughs> hey, I'm just asking your local suite. Okay, we're stoked about the new pedal. Share about it on the internet. Hashtag Walrus Audio on everything else. Okay. Yeah, maybe they'll, uh, yeah, that'll be cool. Wow. I feel special already. They love me. Thank you. Um, do y'all, like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna check my windows at night now. Thanks, guys. Oh. <laughs> no, this is great. Um, I don't know what I'll stick that on, but hey, I have kids, so they may enjoy it. Let's see here. They get this. They, they always package these now with it, uh, this bag, and I love these bags. They're silky. They feel good. Um, you could put all your cables in it and stuff. So let's, uh, before we get the pedal out, I want to take a look at uh, some of the other stuff in here too. Um, oh, this is always fun. And this angle that I'm at is not the most friendly for getting yeah, stuff out of boxes. Let's see here. I just want to... Gimme, gimme, gimme. Okay, I think you all get the picture here. I don't need the box here anymore. I'm going to just dump it now. Ah, there we go. Oh, cool. Okay. More stuff, more stuff. There we go. Okay, the box is out. So, you get this. Huh. Todd Gummerman, 21 Pilots. Okay. And Yvette Young from Co Covet. Okay, these are their settings. That's very interesting. I'll, I'll check that out. And then two more people. Colt Westbrook and Chavez Solis. Okay. But what bands are they in? Are they just solo artists, maybe? Was I holding that up there? Okay, I need to hold it like this here. There we go. So, it comes with some uh, artist presets. That's really, really cool. Um, let's see here. The Fable. This is a... What is this? Let your story... Storybook adventure grow. Okay, I need to get the matching one, too. The reverse delay one, too. Which, this does have a reverse delay in it. But I'm the, the uh, lore, I want to get that pedal as well. We'll see that on the channel here, maybe at some point. Let's see here. So, scan this product. This product comes with a limited lifetime warranty. Wait, limited and lifetime? How does that work out? Oh, <laughs> uh, well. Oh, I get it. It's limited lifetime warranty because you got to register. If you don't register within the limited time frame, then it's, you don't get your lifetime warranty. Okay. Um, okay. Anyway, we also have staff, a real life human to answer emails. God, it's sad that you have to put that on there, isn't it? Think about the world that we live in today where AI literally takes care of everything. It's just so annoying. It's broken. It's not ready. Even if it was ready, it's still not nice, you know, to get pushed off by a computer program. I hate that. Uh, here's a car sticker for War Walrus Audio. You can barely see it. I can barely see it, so it's not the camera. I can barely see it at all, but I'm sure it really pops on your windshield. Um, I think this takes... Do you have to put water on the back of this or something? I don't remember. I haven't done so one of those in a long, long time. And then, of course, it comes with your catalog. I, oh, Okay. Oh, okay, so it comes with the... Okay, so here's the lore. I like that. See, I could save this later on instead of having... I can, you know, check into every single pedal that they have just in a, a simple booklet. I like that. I like that a lot. So they have it categorized. Overdrive, distortion, reverbs, and delays. Um, the uh, EQ boost and compression. The fuzz. Modular and octaves. Uh... Yeah, no, this is awesome. This is absolutely incredible. Uh, I love that. 
And then they have some other guitarists on the back here. Yvette Young. Okay, James Valentine. Zandy Mowry. So they have some artists that they're sponsoring. That's really cool. Hey, Boris, one day? Huh? Huh? I'm only down the road from you, right? Kind of. <laughs> uh, then they also send you their Walrus Audio pick. So that's all that comes in the box, guys. So, now the grand unveiling, because you've seen the artwork there on that booklet, but let me tell you something. It's always better on their pedal. The full picture and everything is beautiful artwork. Just phenomenal. Look at that. Holy cow. I absolutely love this. Their buttons, of course, fantastic. Everything turns really well. I do wish that they actually used... Uh, and this is just my preference, honestly, because I love the all-pedal metal knobs and the knobs on the chug pedal as well. Uh, but these knobs, I mean, they just turn perfectly. They use really, really good quality pots on this. I love it. So everything feels fantastic. And I love their very quiet push-push buttons here. These have some better resistance in them than uh, the other two, actually, that I have the, uh, um, what is it, the Juliana, not the Juliana, it's the, uh, I forget the name of it, and the Slaw. Both of those pedals are incredible. I'm, I, can't, I can't wait to hook all three of them up. I'll, I'll definitely do a demo like that. Why not? I'll demo this pedal out, and then, you know what, I'm going to put all three of them together, because I think that'll be fun. What do you guys think? Well, it doesn't matter. I'm going to finish the video before you all comment. So, you're, you're dealing with it. No. <laughs> what, oh, man. Tell me what you think about the look of this pedal, at least. I think the artwork's absolutely incredible. This is fantastic. Couldn't have done, a, like, I don't know. I don't know if they've done better artwork than this. This is probably my favorite. I mean, I'm sure that's all, I mean, it's all opinionated, but this is probably my favorite artwork so far that they've done. This is awesome. So, anyway, let's see it here in uh, upcoming. Uh, we'll, we'll go on over there. Thank you all. Alrighty, we're going to do something a little bit different, guys. I'm going to be just noodling around, more or less. No intro song or anything like that. No cutaways to any songs. I'm just going to play with this pedal. But I'm going to do well, what I showed you in the unboxing. <clears throat> I'm going to do the four different settings for each artist. Show you what each preset will sound like. Because the video is already up on YouTube. You could go to Walrus Audio and figure out exactly how to use this pedal. I just want to use it in a more practical setting and show you what I will use it for, what these artists use it for. Uh, I like the settings, and I'm going to show you in kind of a metal context as well uh, for some of these settings. So, all in all, let's see. I'm, I'm pretty sure I got this good, and let's see if it's loud. Not very loud, particularly. I'm going to crank it up a little. There we go. So this is the Colt Westbrook. I don't know who this is, but this is the setting he would use. Are y'all able to hear that pretty well? I think you would be able to. Who am I asking anyway, right? <laughs> anyway, I'm using my Petrucci Majesty guitar here because it has a piezo, so it'll sound like an acoustic guitar. Pretty nice. Very, very, uh, not as tone-driven there. The tone's all the way down, as you can see. You have the feedback at about 9 o'clock. Or 3 o'clock, I should say. The regain, re regain, regain, I don't know, re regain? <laughs> I don't know, regin? It's at about 1 or 2 o'clock. The mod is about 10 o'clock. The mix is about 2 o'clock. X is about 2 o'clock. Time is about 2 o'clock. Tone is off. And then, of course, it's set to program number 1. <laughs> Now, I like the tone, personally, up about noon there. He likes his a lot more subtle. 
And I understand, it gives it that bubbly, warm, almost neck pickup-like sound when you turn the tone off, you know what I mean? Which is cool, and I wonder what it sounds like with a neck pickup. Let's find out. Sounds like you're underwater. Well, with this mix the way it is, you're supposed to sound hear a good portion of the dry track, obviously, coming through. So he's probably riffing away, and then, obviously, you're going to be hearing that just kind of in the background. So... I don't know if this guy plays boosted. Here's just the boost pedal on with the gain up. Let me turn my microphone off so you hear this a little better. I'm probably like that, just a little rock and roll. But anyway, in a metal context, though. Huh, sounds pretty good to me there. I really like that. Of course, with the tone up. Yeah, that sounds phenomenal to me like that. I prefer the tone up a little bit. It gives it a little bit more splash, you know what I mean? So, that's what I think of that. That is awesome. This is the reverse delay, obviously. Colt Whisper. Okay, and this is Yvette Young setting here. Again, tone mostly down. I don't know why these people like playing with the tone down, but hey, that's up to them, I guess. So, I like this quite a bit. It's a forward delay, so you're just your regular delay into an octave up granular. So that's whatever the X is doing. So she's got her octave uh, decently low. So it's going to sound like this. Got it kind of set back to a slap back, which is very, very interesting. Okay. Hmm. How about with the, uh, it just being a piezo acoustic guitar. Switched over from the uh, piezo there to the pickups, the actual magnetic pickups there, and boy, this is a cool. I like the little slapbacky. Let's do it with some metal now. Again, this pedal doesn't really work for chugging until we get to my setting, anyway. And even so, it's still not really a chuggy-chuggy type pedal. This is more for your solos and stuff, you know.
But anyway, yeah. I like it. I like the setting, but again, bring that tone out and Something like that. <laughs> anyway, you all get the you get the point of this setting. So let's move on over to setting number four. Okay. So wait, am I on two? I'm on two. We want to go to setting number three. Never mind. Setting number three. Okay, this is gonna be Chavez Solis. Let's go on over there. So now we're going into number three. Analog style delay into an octave down granulator instead of an octave up. So this is going to be very interesting, right? Let's see how it sounds. At least he's got his tone up. See, this sounds to me a lot better. I just love being able to really hear the delay kick in. That's kind of the point for me anyway. Oh, and I also forgot to show you guys if you hold the tap button down. Hear that ramp up? Can you hear that? You'll hear it more whenever I kick in the gain. Do the, uh, piezo. Now let's hear a little metal whip. Just doesn't work so well with chugging. <laughs> but I gotta try, right? Always gotta try. I love that octave in it. That just sounds incredible. Geez, if I could remember it. <laughs> Does it gent? No, but, hey, it doesn't need to gent. That's not what this is for. I just love this whole... Yeah. Someone's gonna know what that is. <laughs> now let's try it with the tone down, because everyone likes it down for some reason. To me, it's like kind of all the same with the tone down, because it's like this underwatery kind of, you can't really distinguish what's going on. So it's just kind of this in the background kind of. It 
it's very nice, actually. I, I do like that. Okay. I like that a lot more than I thought I would, too. <laughs> So that's number three there, using Chavez Solaces. Now we're going to get to... Well, this guy's using number five, so let's get to mine, shall we? Let's go ahead and I'm going to get to the, the one that I like to use. Okay, so here's number four, a multi-tap granular into multi-tap granular. This is a granular reverb, I guess. And it is very reverby, and if you do it like this, it's pretty slapback. So you can do some real thick, like... You can actually riff over it, but it leaves a little slight trail. This is something you would want to do with only solo guitar, I would imagine. Sounds really cool, though. I like it. So, you know, doing, like, solo runs over it. So, you know, you could get a little more out of it if I were to take the time and slow it down a bit more. Okay? You could... Get a little bit out of that. Something like that, you know. Let's turn it on to the plane. And then we'll do a little bit of piezo. Turn that up a little more there. So that's what I like whenever it comes to using this granular multi-tap reverb into another granular multi-tap reverb is mostly what it is. It's like two of them going on at once. So, at least that's what I'm reading in the instructions here. <laughs> Maybe I'm misunderstanding it, but I think that's what's going on. That Walrus is known to do this. They have, like, choruses within, like, that you can flip a switch, and it's, like, three choruses going on at one time, and it's pretty wild. So, anyway, let's get into number five. This is going to be forward delay, randomized pitch, granular. Randomized pitch. So it's going to be going octave up or octave down, is what I imagine is going to be happening here. This is ton... Gummerman of 21 Pilots and Mute Math. I've never listened to this music before, but I thought 21 Pirates was... 
pirates. <laughs> 21 pirates. That'd be a great cover band. Yeah, 21 pilots. I thought they were like a boy band. I guess I'm wrong. I don't know. Let's, uh, let me set it up and then, yeah, you all will hear it. And here he is. This is a really, really cool part of this. Like, number five is probably one of my top favorites, honestly, on this pedal. I went ahead and did his setting just because it's convenient. But I like using this setting myself, and you'll see why. Do the piezo here. Now let's try with a little metal. Chugs a little better, but hey, like I said, this pedal just... It's not so much fun with chugging on this. So... Very nice. Some of those notes kind of clash if you play them fast. Because of the up and random up and down just seems to, I don't know, it messes with my ears a bit. Some of those sounds kind of remind me of uh, the song Kill It or Gambling with the Devil uh, intro thing. Uh, what is it? By Halloween, you know, the Gambling with the Devil album, but yeah. <laughs> That is definitely kind of an eerie. <laughs> I really like that those trails coming out of there, guys. So tell me what you all think down in the comment section below. Uh, hopefully I did a decent representation of this. I didn't want to necessarily teach you guys how to do this pedal since there's a very excellent, excellent guide on YouTube by Walrus Audio themselves. And then they also have their downloadable manual. That tells you everything on how this pedal works. This thing is absolutely amazing. I want to add the other two Walrus audio pedals that I have to this and see how crazy I can really get this going. That'll be some really shoegazy stuff, honestly. I got the chorus and I got the reverb. Uh, yeah, I would like to do that. So I'll probably end up doing a video over that sometime later on. Hopefully you guys enjoyed and liked this video. I think I've shown a decent representation of how you can use this pedal just in everyday use. There's so much you can do with this thing. I'm, I'm going to need to add the lore to my collection and pit that up against this pedal as well. I think that'll be a lot of fun. But until then, guys, I will see you all in the next one. Later.